We are cruising the Berg today with Brandy Johnson. She is the owner and president of Limelight Marketing. You're the third one, Brandy, and you follow Gene Bicknell and Rick Webb. So I, just... I know, I have no idea how I made that line up, but anytime you ask me to go driving around in a convertible on a day like this, <laughs> I will say yes. <laughs> Love to talk a little bit about you know your kind of early experience with Pittsburgh. Yeah, I grew up just about eight miles outside of town, so it wasn't directly in Pittsburgh. But my parents uh, owned a business in Pittsburgh, and so we were here, you know, on a daily or definitely on a weekly. Um, this is where we came for groceries and shopping and to eat. I recollect the high school years. This is what we did every Friday and Saturday night was we would come and drag the gut, which I don't think that's a, a thing that the kids do anymore, or at least not right at the moment. But we would circle through uh, McDonald's and down to Sonic and just back and forth, back and forth down Broadway here. From the time I was about in seventh grade th up through, you know, the summers that I was home and, and working uh, during college, I I was working at my parents' business. Um, I was the fried chicken girl. So, um, you know, I would, I would be in Pittsburgh for work. When I went to Pitt State is when <clears throat> I started spending even more time in Pittsburgh. At that point in time, I was living, I, I moved to Pittsburgh and lived in a, in a house here in Pittsburgh and, you know, really made this home. Talk about Pitt State now that we're driving by the campus. I really liked Pitt State. Um, I liked it to a point where my younger three siblings all followed and, and have all graduated from Pitt State. Wow, so you're a Pitt State family. Do we are a full Pitt, Pitt State family, yes. One of the things that I remember being um, extremely valuable uh, during my Pitt State experience is when it came to getting ready to graduate and looking for a, a job, just through the Pitt State career fairs that I attended, I had job offers from Hallmark, from uh, Con uh, Phillips 66, um, from Deluxe Corporation, wow. which is the job that I actually ended up taking. And there were others, Payless. Um, so like these are big national brands. <clears throat> and I think that it was a combination of obviously these companies think highly of Pitt State. They come here to recruit. But furthermore, the, the level of competition, there was competition. There were definitely students, you know, interviewing for these positions, but I just found it to be really successful. And so instead of being forced into the one job offer, I actually had, you know, five or six options that I got to choose from. What kind of stands out as a Pitt State experience for you? Oh, I mean, definitely, which I've referred to this, but the football games, the football, um, especially the tailgating atmosphere at Pitt State is one that I, I think people are shocked and amazed. I went to Michigan and, you know, big time uh -huh. school and the, the tailgating experience here is can be compared to that. I mean, it's impressive. Yeah. You came, you certainly uh, convinced your siblings that to follow your Yes, app. yes. What are they doing? Um, so they all three live around here locally. My sister lives in um, Carl Junction and she, her husband works here in Pittsburgh for AZZ. My, my, one of my brothers, I have two brothers, my older brother um, works here in Pittsburgh. He's um, in the education uh, space and has worked for a couple of different schools and um, businesses here locally. And then, and his kids are going to school here in Pittsburgh. And then my other brother, he and his wife and their two young children built a home here in Pittsburgh. And um, he is actually taking over my parents' business. Actually just bought bought out my parents. So my parents um, own Bo's One Stop at the bypass of 4th Street. And um, my brother Josh just bought that out. And so that business will stay in the family. And that's good, it's a passing of the torch. Yes. That's, a, that's exciting. Yeah. Pretty sure he's got a safe bed in that business. I think so. I think mom and dad did a good job getting it to a, a really healthy place where he can grow up from here. And you were the chick, the fried chicken girl at both. I was the fried chicken girl, and then um, when when my parents first opened the business, I was the clown at the grand opening. Oh, no I think way. I was about six no at that time. So there's a highlight. For you right yeah, there. yeah. We have pictures of me holding balloons on.
avoiding a pit. I, uh, my husband and I moved up to Kansas City and we lived there for about eight years. That's where I started my career with Deluxe, which again, I landed that opportunity through the Pitt State Career Fair and um, got a really good, what I would call a, a business acumen foundation, working for a larger company, um, going through a leadership and training program. I felt like I learned a lot. And then, you know, after about eight years there, my husband and I decided that we wanted to come back home. Um, we have, my husband likes to hunt and fish a little bit, primarily hunt, and we have, you know, land around here, and we could also buy a home and actually decide to build a custom home here. The cost of living is so good and attractive that we were able to get more house and more space and land for um, kind of to build the home that we wanted to build. So we moved back here to Pittsburgh and for a, for about three years I continued to work for Deluxe and then um, decided that it was just time for a change after eight years in one, one field and I really wanted to do something a little bit more localized because I was working for my home office every day and was ready to kind of so, so what would be a local company you could go to? Exactly. So I actually applied for a position at, at Pitsco. They had a, uh, a joint venture with Lego and there was a marketing manager position and I knew I wanted to stay in marketing and so I applied for it not necessarily knowing if it would go anywhere or not and a few weeks later accepted that job and had a really exciting, fun experience at Pitsco during my five years there. I don't know that everybody even knows the magnitude of, of Pitsco, but Pitsco is a, you know, a global organization uh, working in the education field and through the partnership with Lego, I had the opportunity to travel internationally for that um, in that role and to do a lot of marketing work in other countries as well as across the United States. And so it was a really, really great experience. When we were moving back from Kansas City, um, I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised, now a couple times in my career, to find out that there are jobs here locally that were every bit as competitive um, as what I was, what I was seeing in the in the big city. starting your own marketing firm. You know, it was in 2015 that, that we learned that um, my job at Lego through Pitsco was being relocated to Boston. And so I either could move to Boston or move to Europe and continue working for Lego. And, and, and so I pretty quickly, and, and by quickly, in the matter of a week or two, I decided that what I thought I wanted to do was own a marketing agency because I knew I wanted to stay in marketing and I loved marketing and that was my passion. And I also wanted to own my own business. And I love the idea, loved the idea of creating a job or jobs within our local economy and creating a place where people could come to work, love to work, feel fulfilled, encouraged, motivated, rewarding or rewarded. And that was really important to me. So really more so than starting a marketing agency, I was excited to create jobs that I hoped and wanted people to love. And so I spent about the first six months talking to every agent marketing agency owner across the United States that would talk to me because I didn't know anything about running an agency. I knew marketing, but I didn't I didn't know anything about, you know, pricing work and a lot of the aspects that come with agency life. So I, I did that for about six months, explored, created a business case, and then decided that, you know, that was definitely what I wanted to do. And so it was in the fall of 2015 that I made the leap. It has went really well and I'm I'm really glad that I made that decision. When I think back on, on the work that's been done over the, the years leading up to that, I've had the opportunity to be a part of Imagine Pittsburgh in some ways in this initiative that was started well before I became involved that has really driven so much positive change in Pittsburgh and, and made it the place it is today. And I remember sitting around um, the table with you and Blake Benson and Darren and Sean Nacarado and Joe Della Sega and others where we were discussing like what is this vision for Pittsburgh and, and imagine Pittsburgh and what came out of that a lot of things came out of that we had a video that showcased Pittsburgh but one was the the tagline and the supporting logo on Pittsburgh forward to 
together. What are the big jobs you're working on right now? We have the opportunity to work with both local companies uh, to help see growth here locally, regionally, and we have national clients as well. We're working with one of our clients who are out of Springfield, Missouri, and they are a one of Verizon's top six retailers. We've ran multiple Samsung campaigns where we're designing and developing and running ad campaigns and creative campaigns for Samsung. We've had the opportunity through that partnership to run ads and do work for Google. Um, so like the Google Pixel phone, um, running campaigns that promote that. We have just as much fun and see and really thrive on the results that we've seen with more uh, with smaller mid-sized companies that um, one in, in particular is Key Apparel, which is just down the road from us here in Fort Scott, Kansas. Privately owned company. We started working with them uh, in the fourth quarter of 2019. We've also done work here recently and ongoing with uh, another local company, Backyard Discovery. Um, manufacture play sets and patio furniture and um, it's been really fun to work with them as well. They're a brand that you know they they sell through Home Depot and Wayfair and Amazon and and they're nationwide and we've had the opportunity to lean in and help you know with their marketing. What has it meant to you to be in the Block 22 uh, environment? I think it's it's been amazing. You know, for us, I think it meant several things. One, it's a space that we feel really proud of. We can bring clients in, um, and and we feel really proud. The space is right downtown Pittsburgh. You can look at and see the restaurants right across the the street that have it, recently it's a beautiful opened. Space. It is a beautiful space, and it's something that people come in and they they're like, I didn't know we had this in Pittsburgh, and and they're impressed. People will come in from Kansas City or from other big cities, and and they are impressed with the space we're in and so it's been great in that regard it's also been great to attract and hire employees um, I think it does make a difference um, I've hired both local employees who live and work here in our office and then we have about 25 20 percent of our workforce who works remote and those individuals live in right now it's kansas city springfield and austin texas some of them come in on a weekly basis so we have people coming in from kansas city and springfield every single week who had never visited pittsburgh before i think when i'm recruiting talent and they're coming in to visit our office space being in block 22 in a nice facility adds credibility. Let's talk about the future of Block 19, right? Yes, now. so we, uh, we've just purchased a building um, downtown Pittsburgh here on Broadway. Right here. Right Signet, here. Next to Signet Coffee. Versus. Next to Signet Coffee. That was a requirement. Right now we're next to Root and we want to be next to Coffee Shop. So we're going to be next to Signet. We are just in the architect design phase of that project and we will be utilizing the main floor for Limelight office space and then in the upstairs we've got some cool fun concepts that we're not openly sharing yet but I think it could be some um, additional cool stuff happening in Pittsburgh and an opportunity well, for creative there's only marketing. There's a brewery a couple less than two blocks away. <laughs> exactly, so got, all the that, necessities. You got everything you need for a marketing yeah, company. Yeah. So. It's hard to think of this as anything but a success story. A great team, a great team. I've, I've been able to hire some really strong talent, people who are better than, than me um, at many things and, and do really great work and so um, I feel really proud of where we're at and where we're going and you know in the last year we've seen our team grow from six people to 20 people and with, wow. with that employee base growth we've seen, seen the same level or the you know a, a ratio of revenue growth that allows us to, to add and grow our team. <laughs> restaurant 
perspective, you've got brick and mortar and toast and Jolly Fox, Drop the H, all these new um, restaurants that you can come to. And and they're nice restaurants. They're, they're the same things that you get to see in a bigger city. And um, to me, it's exciting. I, I really would say, and I, I think I can go on record to say this, that there was a time in my life where I didn't know that I wanted to come back and live in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that way anymore. And it's not just because I've gotten older. <laughs> I think sometimes it's like, well, you've gotten older and now you want a lower pace, pace life. It's not just that. It's because there are opportunities here that we didn't have 10 years ago. There's just so much happening. And then what gives me excitement about the future is that the same, like the groups that have been intricate in making this change happen and the partnerships, I'll call it, that have been forged to drive this innovation and change, they're still working together and they still have, their visions are like, they have big visions like that. Imagine Pittsburgh, when you look at what's, you know, the vision for that, it's exciting. And I think in the coming years of Pittsburgh, I think we're gonna see more people moving here with our housing developments. We now have, or are on the verge and starting to have the housing that we need to um, attract people from that perspective. Um, I think we're gonna see more people who either stay here because, because they can either work here locally or they can work for wherever they want. And they like the cost of living and the pace of this community. And I think we'll see people from larger cities who move here and whether they're working from home or working here locally, they want a smaller community that has a lot of opportunity. And um, so I'm really excited about the future here. The other thing that I really like, and anytime I have people from out of town who go out to lunch with me, and you probably hear this as well, people are like, oh, you know everybody here, but yeah. I really yeah, like true. being able to go into the restaurants and see a handful of people that I know on a mm -hmm. first name basis, like, oh, hey Jay, how are yeah. you? Yeah. And yet, there's a lot of people that I don't know. Right. It's there are a lot of people, you know, that you still don't know. So it's like that, for me, it's like that perfect size. It, it's a really nice way to feel that you belong, you're at home, and, 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 you know, and people recognize that. <laughs> uh, and then, um, but then you have those opportunities to meet new people exactly. and, to, and, and to do new things. So it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a sweet spot. Well, thank you for this opportunity. I'm really honored to be able to do this. Oh no, like I said, you're number three after, after Gene and Rick Webb. So I know, I don't know how that works out, well, but I'll, well, I'll just say thank you.